Okay, so now question 10. The hydrolysis of 2-bromo-2-methylpropane yields 2-methylpropan-2-all. Give the SN1 mechanism. Okay, so first let's write the structure of 2-bromo-2-methylpropane. So if we try to write down the structure of this compound, let's first identify the parent group. So when we have prop, this means that our parent chain is three carbons long. And the fact that it ends in ane tells us that there are only single bonds involved. If it ended in en or ein, then it would have double or triple bonds, respectively. Okay, so we know our parent chain, and now we can see that our substituents is a bromine group. So 2 on carbon 2. And we also have a methyl group on carbon 2 as well. Okay, so now that we have deconstructed our word, let's write what this would look like. Propane is three carbons long. So we can number them one, two, and three. And then on carbon two, there is a bromine group. And also on carbon two, there is a methyl group. And then carbons 1 and 3 just have hydrogens. Okay, so let me erase the numbers. Okay, so this is 2-bromo-2-methylpropane. So we need to write out the SN1 mechanism. So when we have an SN1 mechanism, um, it's typically like a two-step reaction. But uh, I'll, sh I'll go over all the different steps. So first, we have a leaving group that leaves our compound. In the case of this 2-bromo-2-methylpropane, uh, the most likely leaving group would be the bromine. So bromine is a common leaving group. So this will leave our compound and it will form a carbocation. So carbocation can also be uh, pronounced like carbocation. So it just depends. But carbocation, that means that we have a carbon that is now positively charged. So because it is positively charged, it will attract our nucleophile. So in this case, let's say that our nucleophile is a molecule of water. So one of the lone pairs on the water molecule will come in and try to neutralize that carbon. And then we are left with the following intermediate that now has a water molecule attached, but this oxygen is now positively charged. So in order to relieve that positive charge, another water molecule can come in and deprotonate. So it removes one of the H atoms, and this will neutralize that positive charge. And this forms an alcohol group.
and we are left with the following product. Okay, so if we wanted to name this compound as well, let's number it again, just so that we compare, can compare it with the question. So uh, in order to name this, we need to find out what our parent carbon chain is. So this will be the longest carbon chain containing all the most important things. So in this case, it is this three carbons as our chain. It can also be the top, the top one as well, but just to make it easier, uh, I'll circle the three that are in a row. So on carbon two, there's a methyl. So to name this, it would be two methyl. And then when we have an OH as our substituent, this is going to be put at the end of the word. So I just need to name the parent, so propan. And then on carbon 2 is our alcohol, so 2, all. And then let's look at the question. So this yields a 2-methylpropan-2-all. So we know that we did the mechanism correctly. Let's see what the junior tutor said. Step 1, this step involves bond breaking. Thus, it is a slow process and is the rate-determining step. Okay, so see that they form the carbocation with the bromine group acting as the leaving group. Step 2, this is a fast reaction because the partially negative charge on oxygen and water is attracted to the positively charged ion. The nucleophile water attacks the carbocation in this step, so they show it attacking the positively charged bond. And now we have uh, this intermediate that contains the oxygen. So I think they just put the oxygen on top of the carbon, but it should look like the intermediate that I have. Let's see what they have down here. Step three, deprotonation of the organic product occurs while reacting to one molecule of water. So they have all water coming in to deprotonate. So I don't know if they meant to put the oxygen in the middle like that, but there should be a carbon kind of like in between. So this explanation is correct. And all the steps are correct as well. However, um, there should be an additional carbon in the red spot. I don't really know how to... OH. I'm not sure if it was like a typo, but just so that the future students reading the, the mechanism and take note that this oxygen shouldn't like be in the middle. It should be attached to 
another carbon that should be in the center of the uh, product. Yeah, so they just had it like coming in and replacing the carbon in there, but it should just be attached to the carbon in the center. Hopefully my explanation kind of made...